Close to 5,000 people were killed in South Africa during the first three months of 2021. And just over 15,000 house burgl burglaries were reported. But if authorities have their way, soon you won't be able to buy yourself a gun for self-defense and for hunting. There are fears this newly proposed firearms uh, bill could have a devastating impact on residents. Let's speak now to Gabriel Krause from the South African Institute of Race Relations. And Mr. Krause, thank you so much and good afternoon to you. Your sense uh, about the firearms control amendment bill and particularly the provisions around um, whether or not to issue licenses for firearm ownership for self-defense and for activities such as hunting. Is it a good idea or a bad idea? Well, I think it's one of the most dangerous ideas that uh, this administration has produced. Thank you so much for having me. If you look at uh, crime in South Africa, our murder rates are about five times higher than Zimbabwe, seven times higher than India, a much poorer country with great inequality. Uh, in fact, we have some of the worst murder rates in the world, half a million people plus killed in the last 25 years. If you look at the relationship between gun ownership levels and murder, you see that since 2012, gun ownership, best estimates on gun ownership have gone down from over 2.1 million to 1.9 million, while murder has gone up by about 20%. So we, you know, the evidence suggests that at least in South Africa, less guns does not mean less murders. The right to defend yourself is enshrined in the Constitution. The, the, the using a gun to do that is not itself enshrined. I think it's fair to say that people really ought to know the rules of engagement, to know how to uh, use a firearm responsibly, carefully, as a last resort, and the existing legislation mandates that people who want to get a license have to go through forms of training uh, to prove that capacity and to learn it. That's exactly as it should be. To withdraw people from being able to use a gun in self-defense, I think is, uh, it's extremely dangerous. Uh, I think that there's, in South Africa, we must bear in mind that these kinds of laws uh, not only are dangerous insofar as they achieve their nominal ends, uh, but also dangerous in the breach, which is to say a lot of people, I think, will just uh, go against the law and then you'll just have an even uh, further breakdown of respect for the police, uh, who are at the moment one of the least credible institutions in the country, according to research by the Institute for Security Studies and others. What we really need, rather than pulling guns out of law-abiding citizens' hands, is reform in the police that get them to do the job that they're supposed to be doing, which is to protect citizens. Uh, and it's, it's just not a job that's being done. But is it not true also, uh, Gabriel Krauser, that in, there are many, and I'm, I say many, not, not the majority of instances where firearms in private hands have been involved in violence, including violence against women and children, which suggests to me that you may be saying that on paper people get all this training and a rigorous process before they are trusted with a firearm, but in many instances people don't live up to that training and if um, there can be any intervention that can be made to ensure that a person doesn't have a gun to shoot their partner, that intervention is worth taking. Yeah, we've been in conversation with various groups to try and understand that issue and I think the, the most uh, potent argument has been coming from Girls on Fire, which is a gun lobby group that argues very much that uh, against a kind of paternalistic attitude that uh, security and safety is, is just a man's affair and women are kind of dainty flowers that should be uh, protected. Uh, their argument, their counter-argument is that it, women should absolutely have the right to defend themselves. So if a woman has a gun and she's being attacked, uh, whether by her partner or by, her, by a stranger, then she has a force multiplier. She has a means of uh, overcoming the asymmetry of, of physical force that otherwise can be used against her. So, yes, it's, it's terrible that guns are used uh, in cases of domestic violence, but taking guns away from women uh, seems like exactly the opposite to the right solution to that problem.
All right, All thank right. you for your insights and your input uh, on this particular debate. I'm pretty sure that it will continue to rage until the closing date for comments. Uh, that is the 5th of July. That's Gabriel Krauser there from the South African Institute for Race Relations. Part of a number of guests that we have had in the last half an hour or so who have been weighing in on the proposed Firearms Control Amendment Bill. Uh, you have uh, until the 5th of July to comment on it.